we will look at the biography of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Coleridge is prescribed for the students of BA Part 2, Paper 1, English Literature. His poem, Christabel, Part 1, is a part of your syllabus. First, the biography of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Coleridge was born on October 21st, 1772 in Devonshire, England and he died on July 25th, 1834 at Highgate, England. Engl he was an English poet and author. Samuel Taylor Coleridge was a major poet of the English Romantic period, a literary movement characterized by imagination, passion, and the supernatural. He is also noted for his works on literature, religion, and the organization of society. Childhood Talents Samuel Taylor Coleridge, the tenth and last child of the vicar of Ottery St. Mary near Devonshire, England, was born on October 21st, 1772. After his father's death in 1782, he was sent to Christ's Hospital for schooling. He had an amazing memory and an eagerness to learn. However, he described his next three years of school as depressed, moping and friendless. In 1791, he entered Jesus College, Cambridge, England. Because of, because of bad debts, Coleridge joined the 15th Light Dragons, a British cavalry unit, in December 1793. After his discharge in April 1794, he returned to Jesus College, but he left in December without completing a degree. The reason he left was because of his developing friendship with Robert Saudi, whose dates are 1774 to 1843. Both young men were very interested in poetry and shared the same dislike for the neoclassic tradition, which means a return to the Greek and Latin classics. Both were also radicals in politics. From their emotional and idealistic conversations, they developed a plan for Pantisocracy, a vision of an ideal community to be founded in America. This plan never came to be. On October 4th, 1795, Coleridge married Sa Sarah Fricker, the sister of Saudi's wife-to-be. By that time, however, his friendship with Saudi had already ended. Poetic career. The years from 1795 to 1802 were for Coleridge a period of fast poetic and intellectual growth. His first major poem, The Eolian Harp, was published in 1796 in his Poems on Various Subjects. Its verse and theme contributed to the growth of English Romanticism, illustrating a blending of emotional expression and description with meditation. From March to May 1796, Coleridge edited The Watchman, a periodical that failed after 10 issues. While this failure made him realize he was not fit for public life, his next poem, Ode to the Departing Year, shows that he still had poetic passion. Yet philosophy and religion were his overriding interests. In Religious Musings, published in 1796, he wrote about the unity and wholeness of the universe and the relationship between God and the created world. The most influential event in Coleridge's career was his friendship with William Wordsworth, whose dates are 1770 to 1850, and his wife Dorothy, 
from 1796 to 1810. This friendship brought a joint publication with Wordsworth of the Lyrical Ballads, a collection of 23 poems in September 1798. The volume contained 19 of Wordsworth's poems and 4 of Coleridge's. The most famous of these was The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. This is a poem by Coleridge. Coleridge later described the division of labor between the two poets. Wordsworth was to give the charm of novelty to things of every day by awakening the mind's attention from the lethargy of custom and directing it to the loveliness and the wonders of the world before us, while Coleridge's endeavours should be directed to persons and characters super, supernatural or at least romantic. A second enlarged edition of Coleridge's poems also appeared in 1798. It contained further lyrical and symbolic works such as This Lime Tree Bower, My Prison and Fears in Solitude. At this time, Coleridge also wrote Kubla Khan, perhaps the most famous of his poems, and began the piece Christabel. Personal Difficulties After spending a year in Germany with the Wordsworths, Coleridge returned to England and settled in the Lake District. For the next 12 years, Coleridge had a miserable life. The climate made his many ailments worse. For pain relief, he took laudanum, a type of opium drug, and soon became an addict. His marriage was failing, especially once Coldridge fell in love with Sarah Hutchinson, Wordsworth's sister-in-law. Poor health and emotional stress affected his writing. However, in 1802, he did publish the last and most moving of his major poems, Dejection and Ode. After a two-year stay in Malta, which is a group of islands in the Mediterranean Sea, he separated from his wife in 1806. The only bright point of his life was his friendship with the Wordsworths. But by 1810, after his return to the Lake District, their friendship had lessened. Coleridge then moved to London. Meanwhile, Coleridge's poetry and his brilliant conversation had earned him public recognition. And between 1808 and 1819, he gave several series of lectures, mainly on William Shakespeare, who was born in 1564 and in 1616, and other literary topics. His only dramatic work, Osorio, written in 1797, was performed in 1813 under the title Remorse. Christabel and Kubla Khan were published in 1816. Later Life Coleridge spent the last 18 years of his life at Highgate near London, England, as a patient under the care of Dr. James Gilman. There he wrote several works which were to have tremendous influence on the future course of English thought in many fields. Biographia Literaria, 1817, Lay Sermons, 1817, Aids to Reflection, 1825, and the Constitution of Church and State, 1829. When Coleridge died on April 20, I'm sorry, on July 25, 1834, at Highgate, he left bulky manuscript notes that scholars of the mid 20th century found and began editing. When the material is eventually published, scholars and the general public will realize the extraordinary range and depth of Coleridge's philosophical thoughts and will understand his true impact on generations of poets and thinkers. With this, 
we come to an end of the biography of Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Thank you.